Moana, you've got some serious guts. The ocean sent you on a massive journey and you were brave enough to accept the mission, but you didn't even know how to sail a boat, so your chances of making it were pretty slim. Luckily, you had your grandma Tala and the ocean spirits guiding you every step of the way. Not only did you beat the odds, but you even showed a certain demigod how it's done. Did you ever wonder why the ocean chose Moana? I thought it was a dream. Nope. We've got all the answers. Keep watching to the end to discover the decision Moana's parents made when she was born that made it her destiny to be the chosen one. Of inescapable death! The first time we see this Disney princess, she's listening to her grandma telling the tale about Tafiti. And she's totally spellbound, unlike the other little kids around her who fainted and cried after hearing the scary story. So it makes sense that out of all the kids on Moana's island, the ocean singled her out. But there's more to it than that. Moana is the daughter of the village chief and gets to be the next in charge. That means she's got plenty of influence over her people. As the leader, she can tell them what to do, but she can also lead by example. By setting out across the ocean, she proved to her people that it was safe to go beyond the reef. This was something her father failed at. It's pretty clear why the ocean couldn't choose Chief Dewey. After losing his friend in the water, he became totally afraid of the sea's powerful force, and he forbade his people to journey beyond the reef. However, his mother, Grandma Tala, loved ocean exploration, just like her granddaughter, Moana. However, the ocean couldn't choose Grandma Tala to restore the heart of Tafiti. That's because the ocean needed someone young and fit, and someone who would have power. There's a cavern of boats! Huge canoes! We can take them, find Maui, Make him restore the heart! Moana always loved the ocean even though her father tried to keep her away. Why did she have that pull towards it? Because it was in her DNA. After all, her ancestors were South Pacific navigators. They were master voyagers, traveling across the open water to find new islands. So the ocean could trust that Moana would know how to sail across it, because that was a skill that was in her bones. The ocean needed to wait a little while before explicitly choosing Moana, however. Sure, she had the power from the day she was born. She had the ancestry, and she showed a love of the water, but she also needed to prove her character, and she did that as a toddler. In one of the cutest scenes in the movie, Moana saves a little ocean creature. She showed great empathy to a baby turtle. Instead of picking up the pretty shell she wanted, Moana helped the turtle return to the ocean under the shade of a leaf. She fought off the birds attacking it. Straight after that, the ocean opened up to her. It delivered the heart of Tafiti to her, and stuck around to play with her too. The most compelling reason for the ocean to choose Moana happened even before she was a toddler though. It was decided on the day of her birth. Stay tuned to find out exactly what that is. Towards the end of the movie, we discover Maui's opinion on why the ocean chose Moana. He says the ocean loved it when he pulled up new islands, because Moana's ancestors would then sail the sea and discover them. And Maui said, And if I were the ocean, I think I'd be looking for a curly-haired non-princess to start that again. Soon after, we discover Moana's opinion on why the ocean picked her. When Moana speaks with her grandma's spirit, she sings about how the sea calls her. The song is literally called I Am Moana, Song of the Ancestors, and she finishes with the line I Am Moana. That might just sound like she finally knows who she is, but there's much more to it than that. Her destiny was in her name. The name Moana means ocean, wide expanse of water, and deep sea in Maori and Hawaiian, as well as in other Polynesian languages. So when she sings, I am Moana, she is also saying, I am the ocean. With a link like that, how could the ocean choose anyone other than her? We know that Chief Dewey was scared of the deep sea and wanted to protect his people from it. But by naming his daughter Moana, he was cementing her fate. Do you think he realized that at the time? Or was it a subconscious decision or a total fluke? Whatever the reasoning behind Moana's name, it can't be denied that it was her destiny to restore the heart of Tafiti. I am Moana of Motunui. Like the empathy she showed to the turtle, she shows compassion to the villain Tika as well. Moana identifies with Tika. She heals her pain, restoring her back to Tafiti. The movie screenwriter Jared Bush spoke with BuzzFeed about Moana's search to discover why the ocean chose her. He reveals that Moana was able to discover that Tika is Tafiti because Moana and Tafiti have gone through a similar thing. They're both in search of their true identity. 
As we've seen from all these reasons, Moana was the ocean's perfect choice. Which reason do you think is most important? Let us know in the comments! Make sure to subscribe to The Things for more videos like this one, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up! Thanks for watching, catch you next time!